I think they won the first half, we won the second half in the physicality. The uh, breakdown is always is massive and uh, I think we managed to hold on to the ball a lot better in the second half. Um, I think we, we managed to, to get parity and then get on top. So I think overall we won more of the 50-50s, I'd probably say it every week. But um, I think whoever wins more of those 50-50s, those little battles, usually come out the right side of the result. And I think we managed to, to, to gain parity and maybe just go a little over towards the, the end of the second half there, you know. We wanted to get one over them. I mean, five defeats against Leinster, our old rivals, is, it's, a, it's a tough record. And uh, we were determined to come away with a victory this evening. I think we started a bit, probably a bit slowly, gave away some silly penalties um, in the first half, which, uh, you know, which really put us under a lot of pressure. But I think we turned around in the second half and um, you know, came back fighting. You know, the players had a great application and you know, certainly a great intent about the way they went around and played rugby this evening and we had some great experience off the bench. You know, and certainly that you know, they just got tremendous belief in themselves and what, what they're here to play for and, and who they represent, you know, with regards to the supporters and the crowd and they're certainly very appreciative of that and they certainly understand, you know, how you know the previous results haven't been up to up to standard when you're losing against, you know, again a very good side. So, you know, all those things, the combination of those certainly you know, paved the way for us in the second half. Like we, anytime we got into their, their 22, we gave them back the ball softly, you know, and you're not going to build momentum, you're not going to build scores by, by doing that. So I think we knew coming off it was just a matter of keeping the ball and keeping the tempo of the game up. Um, I think uh, and Tony and Laurie and Axel but we reinforced that at half time, you know, but uh, I think we, we knew ourselves we weren't, we weren't matching them physically and I think we needed to... to to rectify it, and I think we did. You know, I mean, we recognise that they've a very strong set piece, and have have had uh, this season. Um, so I mean, it is it's an area we've been working on a lot um, this season. Uh, we struggled in a few games, but um, absolutely, we, we worked on it to try and um, upset their set piece and have a strong set piece for ourselves. You know, we had 80 minutes to get it done. Didn't look like that at half time, down 20 to nine. But you know, certainly the way we approached the second half and the way we controlled the ball and. You know, our set piece was tremendous there this evening and you know, accumulation of those things allowed us to get the result. It's massive for everyone, there's no point saying otherwise. You know, at the end of the day we've the four points are in the bag now and we're happy with that. But um you know, you can hear the crowd at the end there, there's a massive cheer and it's a, it's an unbelievable thing for for us to be part of, you know. I think we Raj was saying after that's what Monster is about, you know. So uh no, it was uh, it was fantastic. We were all delighted with the, the four points, but that's it. It's four points, and it's time now to we leave it where it is now, and then we can we build now for next week. You know, from one aspect, it's good that we stopped their um, we stopped the six in a row. Um, but you know, it, it's a good. It's very obviously very disappointing in our position being knocked out of the Heineken Cup. But it's a good uh, position from a set piece point of view and an attack point of view going into a big game um, over in France next week. Um, you know we're on top of the table, Magnus League. We want to stay there, and uh, you know, we have good a lot of aspirations for the rest of the season. We know we got to keep this momentum going, and you know we look to build into a brief next week. And at the end of the season, we want to have two trophies in the cabinet. That's our goal. Now, granted, one of them isn't the one we were looking for, but if we finish the season with two trophies, I don't think that's a, a bad reflection on what we've done. Obviously, we want to be in the Heineken Cup. There's no point in saying otherwise. But look, we are where we are, and we have to keep going and keep building as a squad and, we'll, and we, I think we'll look back maybe when the season's over and see, see the things that we have to change or the things that we have to get better at, you know. Uh, we've really set, it, set ourselves, you know, through each game that we go through this back end of the season that we really need to have just the focus on the week and who we're against, against and the opponent and really we need to make sure that it's last game, next game, philosophy. You know, whatever we do tonight, we need to leave it at the door and, and refocus on Monday of who we're up because, you know, certainly coming into Brie, Brie won't give a hoot about what we've done or what we, where we've done or if we've stopped five in a row, whatever we've done. You know, they've, they've got a big target on our back going into Brie. You know, they're probably a little bit uh, far away from, you know, their top 14 aspirations. So, you know, I'm sure next weekend for, for Brie and all the surrounding rugby people down there that, you know, Munster will be it for next week. Like lads have to go to work on Monday, and you know in Dublin, and if, if there was six in a row, it wouldn't have been pleasant for them, you know. I mean, that's not something we want, and that's not something we want our supporters having, you know. So, um, I think there might be a little smile of the the culties in Dublin now for the next few weeks, you know.